Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Mallory with Made by Manny and Mal. In today's video, we're going to be keeping it pretty simple, but we're still packing a really big punch. We're going to be making a cup with no glitter. I know, hold for shock. Even without glitter, this cup is so beautiful and I really love how it turned out. Hopefully you do too, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. I cannot wait to see what you come up with using this technique. So be sure to tag me in your designs at Made by Manny and Mal, and I will give you so many hard eyes and so much love. I think that's all I've got. Check out the description box for links to everything I use in this video and let's go. We're starting out with a fully prepped and sanded 20 ounce skinny mug from Craft Haven. I have used my final sand like normal to prep and now we're going to paint it using this flat black spray paint from Rust-Oleum. I did one pretty good coat of paint made sure I didn't have any drips or anything like that, and let it dry about an hour, and then I threw it on my turner to get a coat of epoxy on it. I mixed about 20 milliliters of CC DIY Fast Set Epoxy, and then I added a little spoonful of black pearl pigment powder from PDB, and then I also added in a couple drops of pure black alcohol ink to really like beef up the deepness of this black. Black Pearl has a little bit of sheen to it, so we're going for a solid black look here, but we're gonna have a tiny little bit of shimmer and pearl feel from this. It's not gonna be too overwhelming. It'll still look like a solid black cup. It'll just have a little bit more dimension than a just regular painted cup with epoxy on it. After we had all the epoxy on there, I took my torch and popped any bubbles or anything that was on there. I really wanted to make sure we didn't have any flecks of anything in here. This is the hardest part with a solid black cup. Anything that appears on your cup is going to show. So I was really careful to pop any bubbles, kept any debris, glitter, all of that away from this cup as it was spinning, and pretty much hope for the best. <laughs> I let this cure about four hours, and while it was curing, I went into Canva to put together my floral bundle wrap that we're gonna add to this cup after. I use Canva like nobody's business. It's my favorite thing to use. I do have the pro version, but there is a free version, and I highly recommend it if you haven't checked it out before. You can do so much in Canva. You can upload images to Canva, so that's what I did. I got all of these floral elements from Creative Fabrica. I will have the packs linked in the description box below. Usually when you order these watercolor flowers, you will get a arrangement and then you'll also get the elements. So I took an arrangement from one bundle and set those up. I took two and did them kind of diagonal from each other and then I took elements from a different bundle that kind of matched and then I just started randomly placing flowers to create my little bundle of flowers that we're going to wrap around the mug. This usually takes me about 15 to 20 minutes when I'm putting together a new bundle. I just rearrange and size and all of that until I'm happy with how it looks. And then I just download it as a PNG with a transparent background and then go into pages, which is like Microsoft Word, but for Mac. And then I just put it in there and resize it to make sure it's going to fit on my cup, print it out on printable vinyl, and then cut it out with scissors. Once the epoxy on our cup cured, I did sand down the rim to expose that thin line of stainless steel just so we can form the seal with our epoxy. And now I'm going to put this floral bundle on our cup. Printable vinyl is pretty delicate, so I'm going to kind of map out where I want to place it and then I'm gonna pull the backing off all at once and just apply pressing the middle down first and then smoothing out to the sides. I don't use the hinge method for printable vinyl because if you mess up or if you pull anything the wrong way, it will rip like literally without even hesitating. So I just apply from the middle and then smooth out to the sides. I sized the image so that it would wrap around almost the entire cup. I did leave room for like a name or something if I'm gonna sell this cup or give it to somebody. We can add personalization like their name or a quote or whatever they want. I'm going to go straight into another coat of epoxy now that we've got this on to seal it in. You don't need to use quick coat or clear sealant or anything like that. You can just go right into epoxy. Once that coat cures, we're ready to move on to the next step. We're going to outline all of our flowers using a white acrylic paint pen. 
I'm using a fine tip white paint pen for outlining these. You could use a thicker one, but I think the fine tip looks better with these small and kind of delicate flowers. I initially was going to do white and gold, and then after I did the white, I ended up really liking it, so I didn't do any gold, so you can just ignore that open gold paint pen that's sitting down on my table. This is the exact same technique that I used for my Dalmatian floral tumbler. We are just outlining very roughly the leaves and outer petals of the flowers just to give them a little bit more pop. It adds kind of an artistic touch and I am really obsessed with doing this. Um, you don't have to be perfect with this. You can just kind of lightly sketch just how I am doing here. It just makes the flowers pop a little bit more and you can see each individual flower um, and it just gives it a really cool kind of rough artistic look. So I'm just going around, I started from the top and worked my way over and down to the bottom, just very roughly outlining the leaves, going around the petals, and I'm not even like going around the lines exactly, I'm just kind of drawing very, very, very roughly. I cannot stress enough, this is like a super rough kind of sketchy feel, which gives it that abstract artistic look. So if you wanted to trace and do really clean lines, you could, of course, this is art, you can do whatever you want and that would probably look beautiful as well. This technique also covers up your cut lines. So when you cut this out with scissors by hand, if you choose to do it that way, you don't have to worry about cutting out the middle kind of white space in between the flowers. Your edges don't have to be perfect when you cut them out because you're gonna outline them anyway and they're gonna just become part of the art. So don't worry if you like messed up a cut or if you cut something too straight and it looks weird, you can just outline it with your paint pen and make it part of the piece. I will have these paint pens linked in the description box below, by the way. I got them on Amazon. They come in a huge pack and they are my favorite paint pens to use. So if you are interested in getting some, the link will be in the description box for you. So just gonna work my way around these flowers and leaves outlining. Remember, be really, really rough and just go with the flow, have fun. Just gonna finish this up and then we'll be back to finish this girl up. I'm going to let this paint dry about an hour and then I'm going to go straight into epoxy again. You don't need to seal your paint or anything like that. This will dry just fine. It won't smear anything as long as you give it enough time to dry. I took about 25 milliliters of a little extra epoxy to finish this cup off, gave it a really, really good hefty coat, made sure everything was smooth and good to go before I finished it. And once that was cured, we were all done. This cup is so simple and elegant and so fun. Even though it's a black cup, it's got all these bright colors coming from the flowers, and I feel like it really makes a good, simple statement. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you are not already. We upload videos every Tuesday and Saturday. There are a ton of links for you in the description box below, including links to our social media, Instagram, Facebook, our Facebook group. So we'll see you there. Okay, thanks for watching. Love you, bye.